PC. Welcome to our Wednesday night in the Word. Listen, all this month it has been phenomenal with our Word Warrior. Our teams have been doing a phenomenal job of going through these questions, answering. We have had an exciting time. And if you're watching for the first time, listen, you're in for a treat. I know on Wednesday nights and a lot of times during the evening, you're watching all these other stuff like Steve Harvey and Family Feud and Jeopardy. Well, tonight we have our own Christian game show tonight. Word Warrior, where we're going to ask questions about the Word of God. And those who are watching tonight, those are our teams tonight, are going to show you that when you know your Word, you have a weapon that's going to help you to win every time. So again, on behalf of our founder and overseer, Dr. Reva Watkins, we welcome you to watch Word Warrior tonight. If you're watching on Facebook, go ahead, share, and like. Uh, get your friends, tag them, tag Lottie, Dottie, everybody. Tell them it's going down on Majestic Life page and Pastor Rico's page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you also like this. Take a link, share it with somebody else, tell them to get on. We're going to have a great time in the Word tonight. So hey, again, according to, I uh, just want to welcome you to our Word Warrior tonight, and we're now ready to meet our teams for tonight. My name is Chantel, and I am a word warrior. Woohoo! Yes. I am Patricia, and I am a word warrior. I'm Landra, and I'm a word warrior. And we are Team Benaniah. Woo! Yes. I'm Keisha, and I'm a word warrior. I'm Angela, and I'm a word warrior. I'm Melissa, and I'm a word warrior. And we are Team Gideon. Well, like I told you, listen, it's going to be a phenomenal night. If you're watching and you have not yet tagged somebody, what are you waiting on? Get them on this broadcast tonight. You're going to learn something. You're going to be able to share with some of your friends, your family. Listen, grab your children. Get them out of that playroom. Tell them to put down the PlayStation. They need to be watching Word Warrior. We're ready to start our game. Can we get our first two contestants? Yeah. <laughs> Are sure y'all ready? Yes. All right, well, let's get this party started. First question. When God finally spoke, he speaks through this natural phenomenon. A, an earthquake. B, a cloud that descends. C, a burning bush. Or D, the whirlwind. A burning bush. Was it whirlwind? Whirlwind. Woo! Whirlwind. Team Gideon, are y'all ready tonight? Yes! So you guys are called Team Gideon. Y'all know the Gideon. Uh, what do y'all hear the name Gideon from? Anybody know the first time you heard the name Gideon? Church. Church. <laughs> well, you know, she said church. I remember the first time I remember knowing Gideon or hearing the name. It was in church, too. But you know what's wrong? Those little green Bibles that they gave us. Y'all remember those little green Bibles that we had? Uh, the Gideon Bibles? Yeah. But Gideon was a man in the Bible who was a great warrior, had great things. And then we also know that he was a man of great faith. So tonight, y'all got great faith? Yes, we yes, do. We do. Do y'all know y'all word? Yes, we do. Y'all use it? Yes, yes, we do. Well, let's go ahead and show us, show us what you got. Question. What mistake did Rehoboam make that led to the vision of the nation of Israel? A, he didn't listen to his elders. B, he went to war without God's permission. C, he offered a sacrifice to a false god. Or D, he slept with his brother's wife. B, he went to war without God's permission. All right. Uh, That's all right. They got it wrong. Okay. Y'all think y'all know the answer? Somebody know it. I know it. Okay. Y'all know it. Y'all gonna confer with each other. Y'all hurry up and confer with each other because y'all got a few seconds and then I'm gonna be looking for the right answer. Answer is? Okay. C, he offered a sacrifice to a fake God. 
see y'all in a few minutes. All right, here y'all go. Y'all got another chance. Yeah, y'all can tell me what y'all think. Up. We said green. Y'all got an answer for me? We're going to go with D. He slept with his brother's wife. Oh. So, that's going to be it. <laughs> answer was, he didn't confer with his elders. So, in the Bible, what happened was, he had an opportunity to understand what he needed to do, because we don't make sure the Bible said that y'all know. And instead of him listening to his elders, he did what sometimes we do is we listen to our young friends. The young friends telling him to do this, do that, when the elders were the ones who were the leaders who had the wisdom. And so that's why the Bible says, yeah, you know what? He could have went to war. He could have done whatever he did. But the problem is you might have the strength. But the Bible says the young, he called the young because what? They're strong. He called the old because what? They right. know the way. They're wise. So we got to listen to our elders. Yeah. All right. Next. Okay. Um, when Jonah was thrown overboard into the sea, God had prepared this animal to save him. A, a big fish, B, a shark, C, an octopus, or D, a dolphin. A, a big fish. Big fish, final answer? Big fish. All right, Keisha. Let's talk about Job. Job's home was in A, Jerusalem, B, Orlando, C, Corinth, or D, Uz? D? D, Uz? D, Uz, it is. I thought Job lived in Orlando. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to live in a city beautiful, right? I know, that's right. Right, right. We love our city. So I don't know why Joe would live in us and not in Orlando. But hey, you know, you got Mickey Mouse. You got Disney. You got Universal Studios. Great place to live. Great place to live. Great place, right? All right, next, next question. Upon hearing all that happened, Job's wife advised him to A, trust God, B, curse God, C, pray harder. D, offer sacrifice to persuade God. B, curse God. B, curse God. B, curse God it is. All right, y'all doing pretty good. All right, next. All right, here's where we're going to say it's in the Word. I'm going to read out to you a Bible verse, and your job is to tell me where in the Bible can we find it. You know your Word? I sure hope so. I sure hope so, too. <laughs> And here's the thing. A lot of these scriptures we might know, but we got to know where they are in the word. All right? So here's the scripture. Very familiar scripture. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Is that in A, Isaiah, B, Proverbs, C, Philippians, or D, Joshua? I believe the answer is C, Philippians. C, Philippians. C, Philippians it is. All right. Of the ten lepers, what was the different uh, difference about the one that came back to express thanks? A, he was a Samaritan. B, he also had a demon uh, cast out of him. C, he was a Canaanite. Or D, she was a woman. I'm going to go with A. A, a Samaritan. Hey, Samaritan, you're right. Hey. <laughs> All right. So here's the last question of this round. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see what you got for us. Go. After Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of A, a raven, B, an eagle, C, a hawk, or D, a dove? D, a dove. D, a dove. D, a dove. D, a dove. D for dove. All right. Listen, it has been good. First round is over. And guess what? We're ready for these scores now. Yes. Team Benaniah is uh, at uh, zero. 
Um, and Team Gideon is at 40 points. Let's give these teams a hand. Listen, it ain't over. The first round is only yes. worth five points. The second round is worth 15 points. They can always come back. Get ready to go commercial break real quick. We'll be right back to you. Yes. Hello, Majestic Life. Look, this game has been really good, and we're just getting started. Listen, this I'm telling y'all, this always reminds me how much, I, how much more I need to read my words. Some of the answers I got right, but there was some I got wrong. Anyways, as a reminder, we are in rest month, but we are still able to do things to serve. So some things that are coming up um, next month to look forward to, we have prayer training, intercessory basic prayer training that's going to be happening at 845 every Sunday morning during the month of September. So make sure if you're coming to the building, they will be in the youth building again at 8. 45 a.m. for basic and accessory prayer training. Also, grief recovery program will also be resuming very soon. If you have experienced loss, you know, uh, death of a family member or a close friend, or even loss in finances or any type of hardship, we have a grief recovery program that's here to support you as well. I love the fact that we are able to give back to the community and give back to God's people as well. So this is an opportunity that we get to do that for, uh, for the community. And look, again, we are in the midst of word Warrior. Word Warrior is coming from the ability to study the word and have a power pack 15 minutes every Tuesday and Thursday during the month of August. So make sure you tune in on Facebook Live so that you can get that word. Now we're going to go back to the game show so that we can be part of Word Warrior. If you know some of the answers, make sure you put it in the chat as well. I'll see you soon. Hey, listen, I hope you guys made sure that you paid attention to all the wonderful announcements and the great things going on here at Majestic Life Church. We've always got many things going on, so I'm glad that you guys got a chance to be a part of that commercial break. Listen, our first half was good. Team Gideon came out, the house, smoking with 40 points. Yes. Kenneth and Adaya only has the rope, but guess what? It ain't over yet because we're going right. to go to the second round, and they're going to do their thing. I'm, I'm believing they're going to do that thing. Because again, knowing Ben and Naya, he was a great warrior, great fighter, was able to do great things, show his strength. And so I believe if you got the name, you got to use the name, right? Yes. So let's get ready to go to the second yes. round. Can we get our two contestants? Go, yes. All right. Y'all ready? Yes. Ready. So glad to have y'all tonight. Let's go. First question. Y'all ready? Yes. Hand on the table, please. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. No problem. I gotta see your hands because I don't trust nobody these days. Question number one, here it is. He was the king of uh, Babylonians when they conquered and destroyed Jerusalem. A, Nebuchadnezzar, B, David, C, Xerxes, or D, Herod. Never get <laughs> God stuffed them with A, lamb, B, quail, 
C, fish, or D, burgers? B, quail. B, quail. B, quail it yeah. is. I mean, it would be nice to be out in the wilderness to have a good, you know, nice burger, you know, with lettuce, tomatoes, <laughs> have a McDonald's burger, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. I mean, <laughs> you would think that's what he would do. But, okay. hey, he's God, right? All right, next question. Samson found and ate honey out of the mouth of this animal. A, a bear. B, tiger. C, lion. Or D, Camel. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Um, I'm going to say uh, A, bear. All right, come um. back. No. All right. C. 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 C it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Since Patricia went to uh, mm -hmm. Wizard of Oz, lions and tigers and bears. Oh uh. my! I still didn't get it right, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm good. Chantel. Yes, sir. When Abraham was called to sacrifice Isaac, he commanded his servants to stay at the base of the mountain with what animal? A, an elephant. B, a ram. C, donkey. Or D, lion. Need a ram in the bush. C donkey. C donkey. Oh. C donkey it is. C donkey. Y'all ready? Yes, we are ready. All right, come Always ready. Y'all got a chance to come back now. Yes, know. we do. Coming back. It's in the word. I'm gonna read the scripture to you, and y'all just tell me where it's found in the book of the Bible. As a result of those who gathered together asked, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel now? What book of the scripture is that found in? A, John, B, Hebrews, C, Numbers, or D, Acts? B, Hebrews. I'll be, I'll be back. What book of the Bible is that found in? D. D. X. D. X. Yeah. All right. Come here. Y'all got another chance. It's in the Word. Right here. I'm reading scripture. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of the world, against, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Which book of the Bible is that found in? A. Hebrews. B, Ephesians, C, John, or D, Acts? B, Ephesians, my final answer. B, Ephesians, final answer. She didn't do what she was talking about. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, it's in the bird. Got another question for you. I'm going to read out a scripture. You tell me what book of the Bible is found in. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. A, Jeremiah, B, Ecclesiastes, C, Revelation, or D, Philemon? Jeremiah, no. All right. Here's the last question for this round. For we overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Jeremiah, Ecclesiastes, Revelation, or Philemon? B. 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 All right, what do y'all think? C, final answer. C, final answer, Revelation, and it is in Revelation. Woo! Listen, we're done with round number two. This has been a great time, another time for commercial. Listen, these teams are doing a wonderful job. It's not over. Guess what? Team Ben and Naya got 60 points. Right. Team Gideon has 100 points. Next round is worth 20 points, so real easy. This game can flip over. 
Right now, we're going to go back to our go back to our commercial break to get more announcements from Majestic Life Church. Yes, Majestic Life. Listen, if you are watching Word Warriors, you want to make sure that you are in that word. Listen, instead of worrying, you will be a warrior because you're staying steadfast in that word. So we're so thankful. We're enjoying the game show this evening. Um, I think if anything, it's encouraging us to make sure that we get that word in our spirit so that we know and we can be able to answer questions like these teams. Just a few announcements for you. If you um, reminder that Ira Pantry every Tuesday at 9 a.m. is open. This is a way we get to serve our community, Majestic. So make sure if you're interested in volunteering or if you know anyone who is in need, make sure that you let them know every Tuesday between 9 and 12, we are serving our community. And then also our American Sign Language class is happening Saturday, September 3rd. So if you are interested in learning sign language, make sure you join. Listen, this is a growing community here in Majestic Life, here in the Metro West area in Orlando. So make sure if you're interested in learning, you can be a blessing to someone in the house, someone online. So make sure you come out on September 3rd to join them and learn how to do sign language. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it back over to the Word Warriors. Listen, if you know the answers, drop them in the chat. Let us know help the teams out. They may not be able to see it, but at least they get it in spirit. So back to you guys. Listen, it has been great. Now listen, Lestar and Ebony has told y'all, you know, if you're watching online, to put the answers in the chat. I looked at some of y'all answers, and y'all need to be paying attention to the word, because some of y'all ain't been to Bible study, didn't go to Sunday school, didn't go to BTYU, none of that stuff, because y'all don't run these answers. So, hey, I need y'all to pay attention. We're going to go into the third round. I'm excited about this round, because it's in the third round that things sometimes just flip around and change. So, um, you know, it's anybody's game. So guess what? We're going to hit this third round. 20 points each answer. Let's get our next two people. Bring it home. Watch that Yeah. 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 All right. So here we are. Question is, how many times was Paul mistaken to be a God? A, never. B, one time. C, two times, or D, three times? A, never. One time? Three. <laughs> well, I guess it'd be two, two, two times. times. <laughs> two times. Two times. Final answer. <laughs> I mean, even if you know that story, it's so amazing. You know, one of the times he was mistaken to be a god because he had came out of the storm, and they thought for sure That's right. that and then the storm. When he got bit by, the, got bit by the, the snake, they said, "Hold right. on, this man's supposed That's to be the only dead." One I but guess what? I did. That's all right. We're gonna see what you know now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it was Chantel, it comes back to you. Okay. All right. What miracle did Paul perform in Taurus? A, cast out an unclean spirit. B, raise a boy from the dead. C, he survived the snake bite. D, praise causes the earthquake that freed him from prison. I'm going to say C, he survived the snake bite. All right. Answer? D. I'll be back. Miss Patricia. Okay. Yeah, I guess do it quickly. Okay, you have to say something. I'm going to say it has to be he didn't raise somebody from the dead. Some said he cast out an unclean spirit. <sighs> oh, so he did raise from the dead. B. It's B. 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 
No, it should be B. <laughs> it has to be B. I didn't know that. Up here. B. Raise the boy from the dead. And uh, Patricia, I thought I heard you when I first answered the question. I, I heard you say B. When I first asked the question, B. I thought I heard you say B, but you changed your mind. Yeah, changed my mind. Yeah. You should have asked me that and gave me this answer then. <laughs> <laughs> really, you were cheating because you wasn't supposed to say nothing. You, when I read the answer, you said, mm hmm. <laughs> and I said, oh, they're over here cheating now. She tried to tell her partner what the answer is. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I get this one right. Yeah, we'll see if you get this one right. <laughs> what was Paul doing during the stoning of Stephen? A, holding coats. B, passing out stones. C, arguing with Peter. Or D, being converted. Lifeline. They want to use a lifeline. And who's your lifeline? Minister <laughs> Lestar. Minister Lestar is their lifeline. They're going to use a lifeline. And so, y'all know what this means now. Now, Minister Lestar, just for those who don't know, those who watch the first time, Minister Lestar is uh, our director of our youth ministry here at the church. So that means Minister Lestar has an opportunity to shape young minds and make sure they understand the word of God and know the word of God <laughs> and then talk the word of God because the Bible says that you train up a child in the way they should go so when they're old, they won't depart from it. And so she has the opportunity to train up our children in the way they should go so that way when they get old, they don't depart from it. So we're going to make sure that Minister yeah. Lestar is training our children the right way. Minister yeah. Lestar, are you there? Yes, sir. I am here. <laughs> All right. So here's the question. What was Paul doing during the stoning of Stephen? A, holding coats. B, passing out stones. C, arguing with Peter. Or D, being converted. Well, Pastor, I would like to say that Paul was being converted. Paul was being converted. All right. Over here. Over here. Over here. Team, do y'all want to trust Minister Lestar? Of course. Oh, say the So, so we want to decide if we're going to trust her or not? Yes, we you decide. Okay, sure. We're going to trust Minister sure. Lestar. Yeah, trust Minister Lestar. Oh. Minister Lestar, how you, listen, hey, listen, you know, he got converted at some point. So that's what we're going to go with. You know, we know he got saved. Yeah. That, that's what you were saying. That's what she was trying to say. All right. So what was Paul doing uh, at the Stone of Stephen? A, holding coats. B, Passing out stones, C, arguing with Peter, or D, being converted? We want to say C. He was arguing with Peter. <laughs> All right, y'all have an opportunity. We're going to go with A, that he was holding coats. Holding coats, A. Holding coats is the right Woo! answer. Yes! So understanding the scripture... During that time, that's why one of the reasons a lot of the disciples didn't want Paul to be there because they were saying he was a murderer. But Paul said, I actually didn't murder anybody. I didn't throw any stones. All I did was just watching coats. And so that was one of the big debates about whether he should be among them because they thought he was a murderer. He said, I ain't murder nobody. I just held coats. But I think he was an accomplice to a murder. So, you know, these days, you're going to jail anyway. Okay. <laughs> Next question. What traumatic event happened to Paul on the island of Malta? A, Barnabas died. B, he was attacked by the natives. C, he was bitten by a snake. Or D, he wrestled with an angel. Yeah. D? B. Mm. No. Mm. Answer? D. D, he was wrestled with an angel. What's the answer? A, Barnabas died. No. Oh. Oh. C. C, he's been by a snake. Yeah. Yeah. That's and we talked about that just a few minutes ago. Yes. One of the reasons why they thought he was a god was because when he was at the island of Malta, he was bitten by the snake. Now, here's what happened yes. in that scripture. 
Again, I know y'all talk, Patricia got us earlier talking about, Nate, uh, about these tricky questions because we have two things that happen in that scripture in the book of Acts chapter 28. The natives came to him and started talking to him about being a god because of what happened, yeah. and he was bitten by the snake. So, you know, but y'all all right. Just didn't know what island was It was on Malta. <laughs> we got bitten. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. After Peter was converted, to whom did the Lord send him? Uh, after Paul was converted, excuse me, to whom did the Lord send him? A, Peter, B, Ananias, C, Stephen, or D, Philip? When who was converted? Paul. He sent him to Ananias. Ananias is right. He was sent to Ananias. Woo! 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 Because we, we, we knew he couldn't have been sent to Stephen because the last question, Stephen was stoned to death. Mm -hmm. So it couldn't have been Stephen. You know, when y'all know in school you do the process of elimination. It can't be this person because it had to be somebody else. All right, it's in the Word. We're going to talk about what's in the Bible. Okay, it's in the Word. All right. I am black and beautiful, O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon. What book of the Bible is this found in? Song of Solomon? Genesis, Psalms, or Ecclesiastes? Oh, okay. It's Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon. Songs of Song, yes. Songs yes. of Song, Song of Solomon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 All right, it's in the Word. Read the scripture to you. Tell me what book of the Bible is found in. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit on the vine, Though the labor of the olives may fail and the fields yield no food, though the flocks may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. A, Habakkuk. B, Ephesians. C, John. D, Acts. D, X. Okay. okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. B. B. Ephesians? No. It's A. Habakkuk. A. Habakkuk. Yes. A. Habakkuk. Yes. yes. Okay. Woo. Yes. Thank you for saving Y'all, listen up. This yes. game is good. We are at the last question. So guess what? <laughs> We're going to find out real soon what's going to happen. But here's what I want to tell y'all. That even though we can, got this game today, it's depending on where we are with points, on Sunday we're going to have a championship of the team that have the highest points. So I real quick want to give y'all where we are so y'all know how these teams are doing and know what this next question is going to do for us. So right now our score is Team Benaniah has 160 points. Team Gideon. Woo! has 140 points. So here's where we are. If y'all answer this question right, y'all win. Okay. If y'all answer this question right, y'all win. Y'all become the champions. If y'all don't get the question right, and they steal, it's a tie. It's a tie. And we got to go to tiebreaker. <laughs> yes. So, are y'all ready? Yes. Here's our last question. It's in the Bible. How much Bible do you know? And here's the scripture. In the beginning, the word was, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. A, Romans. B, 2 Timothy. C, John. Or D, Jeremiah. C, John. C. John. C. You are right. Woo! Team Benaniah. 180 Woo! points. Can we give it up for them tonight? 180 Woo! points. Woo! Team Gideon, 140 points. Let's give it up for them tonight. Great game. It has been a phenomenal night. Listen, I'm so glad that y'all came and joined us tonight to see exactly how we learn the word, how we know the word. And again, even as that last question, sometimes we know the scriptures. We know exactly, you know, what the, what the scripture is. Sometimes we don't know where it is. 
But it's important for us to also be able to know how to apply the word. And so even though we've gone through this game tonight, one of the most important things about what we do is understanding the word of God. This is here, what we're talking about, word warrior. It doesn't work unless you're able to apply the word to your life. Making Jesus your Lord and your Savior. So tonight, I believe that the word works, whether it's song, whether it's preach, whether it's even through a game show like we had tonight. Because the Bible says that there's power in the word. Everything else is going to fade away, but the word of God is going to stand. And it is the word that he's given us as our weapon. That when enemy comes against us, we're able to use the word. When Jesus was attacked in the wilderness, guess what? He said, it is written. And you're able to do that in your life when you make Jesus your Lord and Savior uh, and your King. So tonight, if you're watching us, you're saying, PC, I had fun. I enjoyed all of that. And it's really good. But I'm not sure if I know Jesus Christ. I want to tell you tonight, the best decision you can make is to make him your Lord. Accept him as your Savior and get your life changed. So tonight, if you're watching, I want to give you the opportunity to accept him as your Lord, your Savior, and your King. Change your life. Life may seem like now you're being beaten and you're being torn and things are happening to you and you're wondering, why am I going through so much? It's because you haven't learned how to use the weapon that God has given you. You haven't allowed him to come into your life and become the one who makes sure that you always win. So tonight, I want you to learn how you can be a word warrior, win in every area of your life. We can't lose with the tools we use. Jesus is our savior. We always win. Victory is our name. So tonight, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Ask him to come into your life and change you. Everybody's going to repeat this prayer with me. And guess what? At some point, all of us had to do this. We had to accept him. So let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, Dear Lord I, ask I ask you now to come into my life. Into my life. Forgive, me Forgive me of all of my sins. Of of my sins. I, accept I accept Jesus as my Lord, as my, Lord my, Savior, my Savior, and my King. And my King. I believe he died, was buried, and on the third day, God raised him from the dead. And the Bible says, if I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, I shall be saved. Thank you, Lord, for now saving me. Thank you, Lord, that right now my reservation for hell has been canceled and my reservation for heaven has been made. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. That is the miracle of the moment. Right now, you're welcome to the body of Christ. I want to be the first one to say, welcome home. We've been waiting on you to make that decision to become saved. And guess what? Right now, this is how important you are. The Bible says that there's a party going on in heaven right now just for you. When you accept Jesus Christ, the angels are rejoicing. Everybody's shouting. Some of your loved ones who might have passed before you got saved, uh, before this moment, before now, they're in heaven right now rejoicing because you're getting ready to have a great reunion with all of your loved ones who've gone on to be with the Lord. So I want to say welcome to the body of Christ, and we're excited about your future. Amen. Let's give God praise one more time. Yeah. Salvation. Amen. Well, listen, it is kingdom investment time and opportunity for us to sow. Amen. So the word, the word, and the will of God here at Majestic Life Church. There are so many things that we continue to do, and so many times we continue to bless you. Pastor Reaver talked about it Sundays for some of our members about some of the amazing things that we're doing as far as our food pantry. Today we talked a little bit about not only that, some of the amazing things we're doing to keep our church. If you have not been over here, you need to come this Sunday or drive by at some point and look at the work that we had done over in the event center. The new awning, the new cover is phenomenal. It looks wonderful. Again, that's because of your faithful giving. Again, some of the other things that we're continuing to do, making sure that we take care of our fire panel, all these things, our golf cart that we're going to be getting for our parking lot ministry, all this stuff happens because of your faithful giving. And so we want to say thank you so much for that as we continue to bless the world. The Bible talks about that when you sow, it will return to you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. God has great things in store for you. And when you sow it, know that God will grow every seed that you sow. So right now you'll see on the screens the many ways that you can give. You can text to give. You can give through Cash App. 
You can also mail your gifts in 821 South Curtain Road. Or you can say, you know what, I just want to make sure that I always give God his first. You go right on our website, go to Giving App, and you can make your reoccurring gifts. So every Friday when you get paid, that God gets his every month. You get paid however you decide to do it. Just know that God honors us. He honors our faith and our faithfulness in our giving. I want to pray over those seeds as you get ready to sow them. So prepare yourselves now to give. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow and to this your word, your word and your will here at Majestic Life Church. We know that your word has declared unto us that when we give, you will give it back to us. Good measure, press down, shake it together. That as we sow the seed, you will grow the seed. And so, God, we pray now that you return to some 60, some 30, some 100 fold. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you for what you're going to do in your name. Amen. Let's give God praise one more time. Listen, can you help me one more time celebrate these wonderful yes. teams? Team Gideon, yes. Team Benaniah. Yes. So listen, yes. it's not over. On this coming Sunday, uh, right after our morning worship, right a part of our morning worship, okay. we're going to have the championship between the teams that have the two highest scores. So you want to be a part of Sunday morning worship. If you want to be a part of the live studio audience here at Majestic Life Church, I want to tell you, get up. Make sure you make your way here, 821 South Kirkman Road, 10 o'clock a.m. It's going to be phenomenal praise and worship, phenomenal word, and then we're going to have phenomenal word warrior. You want to be in this place. I know, y'all, you can't go to uh, Steve Harvey and a Family Feud being his audience. You haven't been to Price is Right. You haven't been to Jeopardy, but you can be right here in this his studio audience on this Sunday to have a wonderful time with us. I want to see you in this place as we finish. Now, remember, on this coming Sunday, we're going to have workout Sunday, so, you know, put on your workout attire uh, and come in here, you know, some of those pounds that you done picked up through COVID. You can drop some of that COVID weight on Sunday as we work out. So make sure you come out and enjoy yourself. We're going to have a wonderful time in worship. I want to see you here again on behalf of our founder and apostolic overseer, Dr. Reva Watkins. We thank you so much for being with us here for Word Warrior. God bless you. We love your life. We'll see you Sunday in the place. Yeah.